Hello there. You know, one of my most watched videos from back in the day, over a million views at the time of this recording, is my primer on how Teen Wolf color codes their werewolf eyes. The werewolves within Teen Wolf start out with golden. I thought at the time that video was pretty clear. The default color is golden yellow. All werewolves start out with golden yellow eyes. Eyes turn blue if you kill an innocent, or they turn red if you become an alpha. It's really very simple, or so I thought way back then, but almost immediately, and to this day, I still get questions like, what about Omega eyes? Or even some people who are convinced that all Omegas have blue eyes. That is just not true. Omega eyes aren't even a thing on Teen Wolf. I'm Paul Ray, and if you're enjoying our weekly trips back to Beacon Hills, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, hit the bell so you'll be notified when new videos come out. I don't know where the misconception that blue eyes denote Omega werewolves came from. I mean, so many of the Omegas we saw on the show had the golden eyes. Primarily, we had Scott, who was an Omega from the very start, he didn't actually belong to any pack and forcefully refused to join either Peter or Derek. Then you had the episode called Omega with this homeless werewolf. Gerard actually gave this big speech about him and how pitiful it was to be a lone wolf. Because as I am about to demonstrate, an Omega rarely survives. The writers gave this guy golden eyes to make a point that he was mostly harmless and had not killed an innocent. Now, some Omegas on the show do have blue eyes. The Beast of Jevadon, who was a serial killer before he became a werewolf, had blue eyes. Even though that's kind of hard to tell with these filters they use for this scene. Also, the guy who worked for Silverfinger had blue eyes and the twins. So, yeah. Once and for all, Omegas can have golden eyes or they can have blue eyes if they killed an innocent. What constitutes an innocent for the purpose of werewolf eye color is still an open question. So I put together a video after talking to Jeff Davis about that. Check it out at the linked card above. Now, I always try to figure out where such widespread misconceptions like Omega eyes come from. And in this case, I can think of a couple of reasons. As I mentioned, the twins had blue eyes, and they made a big deal about how they were then Omegas in the second half of season three after the Alpha Pack broke down. We're not just betas anymore, we're Omegas, the bitches, remember? Both of them had blue eyes at that point, so maybe people just started associating the two. But the twins had blue eyes because they killed innocents before we met them on the show. Also, I think some of the eye confusion probably comes from Malia. She was in the woods all alone for all those years. She had blue eyes from the start, and she was an Omega. Then she became Scott's Beta, but her eyes didn't change color, so I, I still don't know why people would think that it was a pack status thing. Malia had blue eyes because she felt she'd killed an innocent. Now, I don't believe Malia is technically responsible for the death of her adopted mother and sister, but she thought she was, and that's apparently enough to alter your eye color. Of course, her biological mother also had blue eyes, and that fact apparently filtered through casual viewers to create another big misconception we see about the Teen Wolf eyes. A lot of people seem to believe that all were coyotes have blue eyes. They don't all have blue eyes, it's just that all the ones we saw on the show did because both had darkened their souls from murdering people or thinking that they murdered people. Bottom line, according to Jeff and the other writers, almost all the were-coyote mythology on the show is the exact same as the werewolf. I say almost due to that weird power transfer at birth thing. I want my power back. That's unique to were-coyotes, but almost everything else is exactly the same. What else? Um, oh yeah, so a lot of people ask me about Kate's eyes and what does it mean to have green eyes on the show? It means nothing absolutely nothing. 
it's just a thing that happened to Kate because she was evil and the scratch she got from Peter didn't turn her into a werewolf. It got twisted because she was so twisted and she ended up with the whole purple and green color scheme. Of course, I could create some false linkage between the Western literature concept of the green-eyed monster. Shakespeare's Othello pretty much solidified that term to mean jealousy, and we all recognize that Kate's great desire to be valued and loved by her emotionally distant father led her to do some awful things. I mean, she was so desperate to be accepted by Psycho Daddy that she murdered an entire family and became obsessed with killing Scott, all just to please Gerard but I don't really think things like that actually came into play in the creation of Kate's overall look. It is far more likely that the comic book fans among the writers chose that whole purple and green thing since that was a comic book color code for evil characters since the way back forever. Wait a second, what were we talking about? Oh yeah, eye color. Kate's eyes are green because they're green. They just are. The Canima's eyes look like that because it was reptilian and Jeff got scared by this snake god in the movie Conan the Barbarian when he was a kid. What else falls under the just is category? I'm just so hungry! Oh yeah, Wendigo have glowing white orbs for eyes because it's all the more terrifying when they're eating your intestines. Hellhounds have orange eyes because fire. And this guy at Iken had silver eyes because it looked cool. What did I leave out? The Anukate had glowing purple eyes probably because it looked kind of gross and sick in that skinned weasel face. But none of those eye colors are coded to tell us anything about the character. With werewolves and coyotes, Jeff came up with the eye color thing as literary shorthand. You could just look at a werewolf character and know if they were good or had some murdery background almost immediately. For the last time, red means alpha, betas and omegas all start out with gold eyes. Gold eyes turn blue once you kill an innocent. Taking an innocent life takes something from you as well. Dimming the once brilliant golden yellow to a cold steel. That actually went longer than I anticipated, but I am very glad I got it all off my chest. Thanks for watching, and while you're here, do all the YouTube things that help the channel. Like the video, comment on the video, or even subscribe. I'll see you next time we go back to Beacon Hills.